Hi friends, we're headed over to the property today. It looks like we already knew that we had a problem, but it looks like we might have an extra problem. So we're gonna head over to the property and on our way, I'm gonna tell you all about it. So this is what's going on is that we had the water, the plumber turned on the water and all the toilet bowls and the backs of the toilets are all orange so we had a water company go out and test the water and the water company said that it's the highest second highest iron count that they have had in 30 years said what they can do is put in an iron curtain and that iron curtain is gonna cost us with installation $6,500 and so we had uh, other water companies go out there and test the water or look at it and uh, most of them agreed that we needed an iron filter a couple of them had some other ideas. Um, I thought a really good idea was one of the companies said because it's completely raw land and it's being welled for the first time, we may just want to run the water outside, get a hose from the exterior and run it for a few hours and then have it retested. So I thought that was a good idea. As we were talking to the water companies on the over the phone, um, a couple of them asked if we by chance knew that it was bacteria iron or it was just iron. We definitely have a problem. We have iron in the water and the water is really orange, which I'm gonna show you once we get there. But the other problem was brought, brought up that is this bacteria iron? And if so, we would need a different setup. And during this, we had purchased an iron filter and we decided to go ahead and install the iron filter ourselves to save us four grand because we could buy the whole setup for $2,500 and install it ourselves. And I hope that with Luke and I doing these things or myself doing these type of do-it-yourself that it seems like you need someone else to do them for you that if you do a lot of the research online and that type of thing I hope it encourages you to start doing those things too if you wanted so what we're going to do today is we're going to go and we're going to test the water it is does take eight days to test the water and so we'll get a sample we're gonna bring it back to our current house that we're living at and we're gonna let it culture it's kind of like it I'm thinking about it almost like it's a petri dish because we have to let it sit for eight days and so that will tell us if we have bacteria in the water so once we get there, we're going to do that together. Okay, we have arrived. So let's go let Luke know he, that we're here so we don't startle him. And then we'll go take a look at the water. Here's the back of what the toilet looks like. And it just looks like something out of a horror movie or from a ghost movie or from the movie Money Pit. So the orange color is iron, and what we have to find out is if there is bacteria as well in this, because what can happen is the bacteria can grow and grow, and it will damage all the pipes. This is the iron test kit that we ordered online, and there's two bottles First, we need to take the smaller bottle with the 
little ball in it out first and we shouldn't touch it. It's important that we don't contaminate it with our own bacteria because then it's going to give an incorrect reading when there might not be bacteria. Here we put the water into the smaller container and then the smaller container goes into the larger container and it will sit there for eight days and we will have to observe any changes to it in order to find out if we have bacteria. So this is called the BART test for IRB, iron related bacteria. So we have to view the test each day for eight days, observe if there's any growths or color changes. And then down here, it gives more of different bacteria. If there's foam around the ball or brown rings or green cloudiness or red cloudy or just cloudy or if the solution becomes black and it gives a little description of more specific bacteria. It's now three months later current day and what we had found was that we do have iron bacteria and it's really high so what we had to do is put on three very large systems this first one is a reverse osmosis system which is for our drinking water that goes it goes up to the fridge and that's where we get our water from to drink then we also put in a iron curtain and we also put in a very large water softener system. For those of you who are interested, I'll put a description of each system we installed down below. Thanks again for joining. I hope to see you next time. If you liked this video, please give it a like. If you'd like to see future videos, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Until next time, cheers. Bye.